you will probably never get rich if you do any of the things that I'm about to mention in this video. What's up? I hope you're having a wonderful time and I'm just here by myself feeling good chilling at Blue Ginger and um, I'm feeling pretty good right now, you know, I'm just from having some lunch. As you know, it has come to my attention that most of you who actually watch my channel either are ambitious or want to get extremely successful. But in this video, what I'm about to talk about is the things that you could be doing on the mindset that you could be having that would make sure you would never ever get rich. The place that I'm at right now, to be honest with you, is kind of a little too relaxing for me. So I don't know if it would help if I did change the scenery a little bit. I mean, I do feel comfortable making videos at home. Like I'm just being honest with you fam if you do any of the things that I'm about to mention in this video the odds of you getting rich are really low like so low that you probably will never get rich if you do the things that I'm about to tell you so you should be listening to me man I'll tell you why in a short minute okay so now without wasting much of your time let's just dive into the video from here the first thing that will guarantee that you never ever get rich is the love of money and I know some of you may want to ask me to say, how can the love of money guarantee that you never get rich? Okay, let's just say it's not the complete love of money, but the love of fast money. People are so absorbed in wanting to get money as quick as possible, right? And because of that, they can easily step into scams because people who are smart enough to know that people want money can generate fake ways of making people money, fake dreams. They can sell you fake dreams and make sure you get scammed. When you want to get money as quick as possible and you don't think about how you're getting it or how the money will be generated, it causes a lot of room for scammers to come and start stealing your money. You get swindled out of your own money. Other than that, it will prompt you to do wrong things that would completely ruin your reputation. And believe me, when it comes to making money, reputation is one of the biggest things that you would like to uphold. Because as a businessman, you cannot have a reputation of having done sketchy activities in the past because doing business with your present customers would require them to know that you are fully trustworthy for business with them. I know I have mentioned the fact that fast money lovers don't get rich. I myself have fallen into that trap. Those are stories that I would like to tell sometime later in the life of this channel, but for now what I can leave you as is just the time I was doing the Forex business, right? It was a business where you were required to make money really quickly. So I lost a lot of money because of the pursuit of money and just the love of money on its own is a catalyst to be broke forever. The second thing on my list that would make you broke forever is the lack of networking skills. When it comes to business, you need to be able to network and talk to people. If you don't know how to talk to people, you might as well just be by yourself. And as the saying goes, no man is an island. If you're gonna be a businessman and if you're gonna be able to make money, you need to have skills that would enable you to talk to people. Skills that would enable you to network with people. And one of the biggest elements when it comes to doing business is being able to network with people. You need to be able to talk to millionaires. You need to be able to talk to successful businessmen. You need to be able to talk to your clients. You need to be able to talk to people in general. So if you are antisocial and you feel like, okay, I'll just be one of those antisocial CEOs, antisocial entrepreneurs, let me tell you one thing, there is no such thing. You do not need to be antisocial or overly quiet when you're running your business. You need to be able to speak facts you need to be able to know how to talk to people, know how easily it is to offend people, know how easily it is to please people. Because it goes two ways, guys. You can easily offend people and you can easily please people. And we would always want to go with the please route, right? It's not everybody who you can please, but when it comes to business, as bad as it may sound, it matters how people view you. It matters the perception of people and how they view your products and your services. Number three, what I would like to mention would be in line with the second one that I mentioned on networking. Networking with the wrong people. You know that saying, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Which means if you're spending time with losers, you are bound to be a loser just by default. If by coincidence you are good at networking, but you are networking with criminals, people with bad reputations, businesses with bad reputations, if you are tying yourselves to them and actually 
making yourselves part of them it's going to spread towards you as well and unfortunately clients tend to pick up on this type of thing even just fellow businessmen you know if you come with a certain type of energy maybe criminal energy as a businessman myself i can scope you out i can see you the type of business you run and how legit you are simply by how you choose to talk and the things that you talk about even just the energy that you emit so if you socialize with the wrong types of people be it criminals be it losers be it slanderers liars those things start to rub off on you and it just taints your energy and that is bad for business the fourth thing that will guarantee that you never ever get rich is laziness if you are lazy as a businessman, it is self-explanatory. I do not need to explain it to you what is going to happen to you in the long run or even the short run because laziness is the killer of all progress. When you are lazy to fulfill a task, if you are lazy as a box of rocks, your business would be as good as nothing. As a businessman, you always need to be open-minded, always need to be open to new ideas always need to be hungry to learn more always need to be hungry to work more the successful people no matter how hard they work are the ones who are always telling themselves that they were not working hard enough but the lazy people are the ones who are not even doing enough but yet telling themselves oh my goodness i need a break somebody just works for two hours a day and then he's just there watching netflix on the sofa to say hey you're not running your business and then stretches is telling you oh I don't want to run my business anymore today because I've run it enough so I'm just taking a break I need some rest if you see that mentality in your own head it means you are lazy and you need to change if you need your business to propel further with laziness it's self-explanatory and I do not need to explain any more examples and if you do I'll be glad to of course procrastination and laziness are two different things somebody could be active but a procrastinator but procrastination is more of fear of doing the tasks because of fear of the results that would come from doing it maybe you would have the energy to do it but you just don't want to do it because you are scared of feeling that's what you call procrastination but with procrastination i don't want to talk much on it in this video because i'll talk about it in videos in the future and lastly the number one thing that would guarantee that you never ever get rich is a bad mentality a poverty mentality thinking things are impossible once you have an idea implement immediately do not start second guessing yourself trying to doubt yourself trying to say it cannot work because if you think about it and you have the idea of it it means it's possible that it could work the only thing that you need would be the rocket fuel to go ahead and do that task it all starts from the head it's mentality if you have a mentality of I will fail, then most definitely you will fail. If you have a mentality of I will succeed, then most definitely you will succeed. It's all in the mind. No matter how much you think it cannot be possible, it is possible. And that's enough of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you really enjoyed what I talked about. And guys, to be honest with you, I make videos like this pretty much every single day, right? I cannot always be consistent, right? Be, but of course, I will always try my best and as always, I'll be watching from afar and I'll be rooting for you.